Hello everyone, um, thanks for clicking on this video, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the move trigger in your levels. Let's get right into it. The move trigger is an object that can help you move blocks and objects and pretty much everything that can be assigned to a group ID. Which is like everything. Yeah, it can basically move anything. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to use it. I made this little club step monster here, and I'm gonna show you how you can make the mouth open and close. First, you wanna select this object you want to move. It can be multiple. Then you wanna go over to Edit Group and click it. You can find a group ID if you wanna select it to something specific, but if you have a lot already, you can just click Next Free and Add. Okay, I just found this when I was editing, but make sure you click add or else it will not work. Click deselect. Now you're going to go over to your move trigger, click edit object. You're going to go to target group ID here at the bottom, and you're just going to set that to whatever group you just set your object to, so mine was one. Alright, I want the mouth to open and close. So first, I want the mouth to stay closed. So I'm going to move it down here. Then I'm going to select Y. Each block is 10 spaces. You can also lock your X and Y position to the player or camera. If you want to move your blocks more precise, you can select this small step option. So one grid space is actually 30 instead of 10. Next, you can adjust the move time. I think I want to shorten mine to 0 0.25. Oh, no, that, that's just 25. Next, you can select the easing. I really like elastic in-out or bounce in-out. For platformer mode, you would want to select touch trigger. If you're using a toggle trigger, select spawn trigger. So now when I join, so now when I join the level, this happens. All right, so I have the trigger, but this time I want the mouth to close. So I'm gonna do a negative here. And let's look at it. And yeah, that's it. If you have trouble with the move trigger, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and respond to your comment as fast as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you didn't, well, I hope you enjoy some other ones I have on my channel. You should go check them out. Subscribe.